So welcome everybody. Welcome to a new human experience podcast. And tonight is November the 26th, 2020. And the topic for tonight is sanctum. So the meaning of sanctum is really sacred space. And I chose this topic because it's kind of the wrap up of this month long exploration of illumination. And um, I, I think at the beginning of the month, I'm, I mentioned that illumination, um, there are other names for it. Some people call illumination ascension or getting uh, or awakening. So there, there are different ways of um, calling this process of raising our awareness. However, I picked the, the word illumination because um, I, I, I really prefer that than something like ascension. Not that there's anything wrong with the word ascension. It's just that for me, the word ascension imply that we are going upwards. We are going somewhere. Whereas from my experience um, in my understanding, and I'm totally, this is my opinion, I a hundred percent not not um, someone else's, but it's from my experience is that the process of raising our consciousness is not about moving upwards. It's actually not about moving at all. Um, I remember when I was like, um, maybe about five, six years ago, I was going through a series of um, initiations by, by spirit. And I think I've I have mentioned about that um, at the, the, the beginning, my, my first um, talk, um, I was telling you the, you all my, my story of um, illumination of really my awakening process. And so part of it, I, I mentioned that I went through a series of initiations by spirit. And what I felt was, um, during the time when I was receiving initiations from, from spirit was physically, it felt like a lot of pressure on my head as though spirit was trying to um, like make a hole in, inside my, my head. And I didn't quite understand what, how come um, that's what I felt like because you know, my understanding was that it's, it's about going somewhere um, and I, I think sometimes I would, the spirit would actually take my, my soul out of my physical body and, and I would be able to feel us traveling together. However, um, a lot of the times though, the initiation did not feel like I went anywhere except inward. And I couldn't quite understand how come that was the sensation. So it took a while though, but after a while, I finally really understood later on that um, the reason why it's, it's not about traveling anywhere, that this raising of consciousness, is so not about going anywhere. It's, it's actually more about moving inwards into ourselves. It's about letting go of um, the blocks, the veils that, that we, <clears throat> most of the time it is we ourselves that, that put those veils on. So for me, the process of raising our consciousness is really about moving inwards and we move inwards by letting go of the veils. So in short, it's really about getting back to who we truly are within. And if I go along with this, um, this notion that we're really going uh, within to back to who we truly are within, then who we are, who we truly are within, it's, it's not something that I can explain to you in words. It's like there, there are no words that I, I know of that can, that can do any justice of explaining and describing to you who you are or, or to myself who I am because um, we we live in we've lived in this body for such a long time 
that we we have actually um, accumulated a lot of different identities. Sure, we have words like we have words like God, Creator, Source, Allah, um, Buddha. There are different words that different religion, different nationality would describe these. Um, who we truly are within, but those words are simply like how, what, how do you describe who God is? No one can. The, we have a word for it, but the truth is that nobody really know what those words mean. Nobody know what being a God feels like or, or is like, because um, those are just words. Those are words that simply are a placeholder for a state of beingness that we have no idea what it is about. We have no reference for in our being. And, and just by, by those words, by using those words, is simply if you really um, look at it, if you really are honest about it, those words are simply labels and placeholders. There is like no one can explain what who is a god and what does a god feel like because we we have not lived that experience yet so we don't know the truth is nobody knows we we um, assign things to to oh this is god's will but you know what is that so i can only point in a direction for, for you all to explore, if you're interested to explore such things and, and to, um, and then, the, and also another truth that I want to, to bring out is that, um, yes, I can point you in a certain direction. However, even if I don't point at a certain direction, even if you, never wanted to or never had the have the 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 desire to to raise your consciousness even if none of that ever occurred to you however you are always and forever exploring who you are whether you are conscious of it or not it's another matter um this this going towards going towards who we truly are is something that is built in to all life, to all creation. If you truly pay attention to what life is about. So that really is, is what life is about. Life is actually really, if you boil down to it, life is really the journey to explore who you truly are. And that's why life is so precious. And it's, it's something that um, is, it's so valuable. So however, this is, um, I'm here, this podcast is really about um, raising consciousness. So if I were to, to say something about raising consciousness, it is really about pointing you to in a direction so that you can explore what that is, what illumination is about. Illumination and that direction is really inwards. And to, to um, give more details is how do you go inwards? Because um, it's very easy to go outwards, but going inwards is not something that is as intuitive because we, we have been brought up to look outwards. All our senses is about receiving input. It's not about going inwards. So how do we go inwards? I would offer some suggestions. The first one is to really let go of identification. So why? Why let, letting go of identification? And what do I mean by identification? So identification could, could mean, let, let's say, I, I identify as my name, Winnie. I identify with my family. 
So that's another identification. I identify with um, being a, an intuitive uh, life coach. That's an identity. So we have so many identities. If we really think about it, we, um, we are daughters, we are mother, we are father, we are sons, we are friend, we are lovers, we are workers, we are boss. We are so many things, so many identification. And that's, and really in terms of trying to raise your consciousness and really find out who you truly are, the worst thing you can do is to try to maintain your identification because you already are. There is nothing to maintain. An identity that needs to be maintained, that you need to do certain things or look certain way in order to, to maintain that identity, then that means that that identity is not real. So that's what I mean by letting go of identification. Whomever you think you are, if you want to explore more of who you truly are, then the first thing I suggest you to do is let go of the other self-identification, especially the identifications that you feel somehow that you need to do something in order to look the part, in order to maintain. So, um, because who you are, who you truly are is not something that you need to maintain at all. You simply are, and you, you simply already are that. And the next suggestion I have is to let go of a judgment. First reason um, is that in order to judge whether something is good or bad, uh, right or wrong, um, in order to judge anything, you have to take on a position. In other words, you have to take on an identification. So that's why it's, that's, that's the first reason why it's, it's a good idea to let go of judgment because judgment is really what's behind it. What's behind any, uh, any judgment is an identification. So just drop it and don't try to label an experience as being good or bad. Just simply experience it. you um, like every experience is sacred and when you can let go of the judgment and simply experience every moment as though it it's the first time you ever experience that and not judging is because you really are the one who created every experience in every moment of of now who you are is the one that creates that experience for yourself. And if you judge that, it's, it's like you are judging against your own creation. And that's really not the point of any creation. Any creation is actually to experience it. And then um, the third suggestion for going inwards is to really let go of the idea of um, the idea of seeking illumination or seeking ascension. And I know this is uh, this is kind of tacky. It's very tacky of me because like this whole month I've been talking about you know illumination, <clears throat> how do we do it? And then now I drop the ball and say, well, you know, I suggest you not to seek at all because seeking is um, somehow um, making it harder. It's, it's so hear me out first. And I'm, I'm not trying to be, um, I'm not trying to be smart about it. It's, it's actually all, it's from experience is that the more, uh, the more I tried, the more I seek, the more I go after, the, um, 
the longer it seems to take for me to get to the next level, whatever that next level may, may have been for me. So when, when I actually let go of seeking and, and really um, focus more on experiencing and just be with who I am, then um, sooner or later, it will start to dawn on you that you're not you're not the body you're not every you're not the identity that you think you are and when you when you are, when you try to do too, too much when you try to go after something that's when you also um at an unconscious level tell yourself that you have you don't have it yet because you don't look for something that you already have so when you actually go and look for something it's it's actually um the more you go look for something the the more you would have the longer it is that you have to to look for that it's um it's kind of in a very counterintuitive way to do. And all we actually need to do is to let go of all the false identification. Because God, you are. And God, I am. And God, we all are. And we are actually all limitless universe identifying as this body, this nationality, this family, living on this street and gathering around this computer or cell phone or whatever devices, listening to this podcast. All of these are just um, identification, temporary identification. And we think that we are all this because since we were born, that's all we have been taught is that this is this is it. This is who you are. You you get your um, birth certificate, you get your whatever um, like citizenship uh, or you know driver's license, you get all of these identification to label you simply to to confuse you. Because all of this, these things are really part of the, the, the negative matrix to confuse us, to, to tell us that we are this, we are, we are that. And, and actually, we are none of that. We are actually limitless universe itself. We are God. God, we are. And we've lived with all these identification and I'm not saying this to to say that there's anything wrong with this. It's not because we willingly took on all these experiences. And now we are actually going to um, shift to a different way of experiencing what life is. And we are actually the whole the whole planet and actually the whole universe is the is actually upgrading. Um, it's not just happening on planet Earth. This this upgrading is everywhere. All of creation is is moving to a higher vibration. Not because there's anything wrong with the old vibration. It's just that you know we've we've played with something long enough. So time to go do something else and that is why ascension seems so hard because it's not about going somewhere it's not about looking for something it's not about doing it's none of that it's actually about not doing it's about undoing it's not about you know um, learning a new skill, how to learn how to be more intuitive, or learning to see energy, learning how to heal ourselves. No, it's it's not about learning any of that. The thing is, we we naturally know how to heal ourselves. 
we naturally know how to heal other people. Just by being with someone else, we actually can heal one another. Just by being with someone in unconditional love, that is the most healing thing that we can do. And we don't need to learn that. There's nothing to seek, nowhere to go, nothing to learn. It's about unlearning. It's about letting go and go back to simplicity. Simply experience and observe what it is that you're experiencing. Because everything that you're experiencing is actually who you identify as in this moment. We are always creating we are creators. That's who we are. And we are always creating, like learning how to create that, that is, um, it's so difficult to learn how to create because we already are creating. So to, to finally, to, to all of a sudden and say that, uh, that I want to learn how to manifest, you are already always manifesting. The, the problem is, or I should say, um, if you don't like what you are manifesting, if you don't like what you're experiencing, it's not because you don't know how to manifest, not because you don't know how to create. It's because you are creating and experiencing who you are identifying with in this moment and who you are identifying with is doing the creating, is doing the manifesting. So instead of judging, instead of trying to, um, to, to, to get out of this, is to stop. Just stop and simply experience and observe what it is that you're experiencing. And from what you're experiencing, you can kind of start to deduce who you have to be and who you have to identify with in this moment in order for you to create whatever it is that you're experiencing for yourself. And if you enjoy what you're experiencing, then carry on, nothing to do. But if you don't like what it is that you're experiencing, if you have something else that you prefer to experience, then let go of the identification, the, the person who created all these experience. Because all the, the, the identification is not real. They're not who you truly are. Who you truly are is far more expensive than just this very narrow identification that is creating your experience. And when you can, can um, stop from struggling, stop from judging and trying to um, get over and trying to, you know, like be better. N no, just stop and just observe what it is that you're experiencing and and kind of deduce who you are, who someone else has to be in order for them to create this experience. And then when you know who it is that you need to identify with in order to create this experience that you, ex that you are going through in this moment, then all you have to do is let go of that identification. Let go of the identification of being a victim, of whether you are enough or not enough, or too much, or too thin, too big, too small, too whatever. Let go of those identification and process all the, the judgment, the negative emotions to the best of your ability. And really to, to get back to zero, to get back to being in neutral, when you are in zero point, when you are neutral, when you are blank slate, then all you have to do is simply feel 
and choose what it is that you prefer to experience. And when you put an intention into a field that is neutral and zero, then there is, you would create instantly or very easily with minimal, um, with minimal effort. And that really is how the best way to create anything you want, the best way to manifest is to go to zero point, go to neutral. When you are not identifying with the, the person that is creating all the experiences that seems to be um, not your preference, and you've done the work of getting to neutral, then you're in the best position to simply hold the intention of what you want to feel, what you want to experience. And that's it. That's as simple as it is. And know that you're always in the driver's seat. You have always been a creator. Nothing, nothing will happen if you don't create. And you're, because you're always creating, it is just that you're creating from your, from all the identifications that is working, um, that is not working on your behalf um, to what it is that you truly want to experience. And I think that's all I want to cover in terms of illumination in terms of growing our own awareness. The, the truth of the matter is that we already are. We already are. We already have high vibration. We already have all the knowledge. It is just that we decide to play this role that we want to um, identify as this particular vessel in this particular time to have the experience that way. And when we really start to choose and try and start to um, pivot from here, from wherever it is that we are at, and letting go of all the identifications, letting go of all of the things that does not, um, that does, that really we, we don't, we are not as keen to experience. When we can get to the part where we can let go of these identification, then that's already um, game over. We are already there. We don't have to do anything more. Simply is to let go. And that's all I want to say for this and conclude this theme of illumination.